Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Amir Karam, and I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about sunscreens. As we're getting close to summer, I think this is a topic that is uh, very important to discuss because it's probably the number one thing you can do to prevent skin aging. So before we launch in, please take a minute to uh, subscribe to the channel. I have lots and lots of informative uh, videos on anti-aging and skincare and a lot of uh, interesting topics. So if this is something you'd like to see more of, please uh, subscribe and then afterwards, make sure you like it and share it so we can get it to more and more people. All right, so let's jump into the topic. So there's lots of sunscreen choices. You go up and down the uh, grocery store uh, aisles, you see all sorts of different types of sunscreens with big brand names, you go into the department score stores, there's all sorts of fancy sunscreens, and it's very hard to understand um, you know, what it is you need to do to prevent um, the, the dangerous type of sun exposure that can cause skin aging, but as well as skin cancers. So let's take a moment and, uh, and discuss some very basic principles that you need to look out for when you are uh, planning on buying one. And, and let me make a, a couple points clear uh, right off the bat. Number one, expensive is not necessarily better. There are some ridiculously expensive sunscreens out there. I never can understand what the justification is because at the end of the day, the function is to protect the skin from sun exposure and you don't need to spend a fortune to do that. Um, so let's kind of talk about some various uh, components. So right off the bat, and I'm gonna make this very simple. The most important thing to look for in a sunscreen is two things. Number one is you want a sunscreen that has the designation as broad spectrum. Broad spectrum means that it, it, it uh, blocks both UVA and UVB light. Now, why that's important is because, <laughs> excuse me, one of them is more, uh, more uh, detrimental from a cancer perspective and the other one is more detrimental from an anti-aging perspective. And you wanna be able to prevent both types of light from penetrating the skin. So broad spectrum. Now, what are the, what's the SPF component to it? Well, SPF, you know, there's a there's a factor rating that goes in in various uh, rate from from light SPF to deep SPF or, or um, strong SPF. The reality is you don't need something that's 60 SPF. You need something that's in the 30 or 40 SPF range, which is a sort of a chemical component to it. But what's really important, what ingredient is extremely necessary to have in the sunscreen is the presence of a physical blocker such as zinc or titanium oxide. And those, what they do is they, they um, form a, a physical shield on the skin that actually reflects the light so that it doesn't even get a chance to uh, penetrate the skin. So it functions almost like you have a, a metal shield across your, your uh, skin. Now, when you think of zinc oxide, you think of those um, old surfing videos where they put the, the white uh, chalky looking uh, uh, pasty uh, uh, product all over the nose and in the cheeks and they go out in the sun and obviously it's not uh, very practical to wear that every day. Now, the, the advancements that have been made with these uh, products is that they have <clears throat> invisible zinc and they have uh, um, tinted products. So basically you can use them and truly not have any um, remnants of your skin that, that shows the presence of a, a zinc or titanium uh, product, which has you know, historically been the big factor why people have not chosen to use those and have gone more with the chemical sunscreens. So I don't wanna get into the nuts and bolts of chemical, you know, if it's good for your skin or not good for your skin. You don't need to worry about that as long as you have a, a very, um, you know, you have the basic sunscreen that has zinc or titanium at levels of, you know, seven, eight, nine percent, and you have a the the designation is broad spectrum. And I think the luxury item uh, component is that it has some invisible quality to it as well as some tint. I think you're gonna be set because what's really important is that you apply this um, sunscreen in the morning before you leave the house. You reapply it several times throughout the day, especially if you're gonna be you know, in the sun and you're gonna be out enjoying uh, the outdoors. <clears throat> but another really uh, key factor to it is if you are gonna be using it during exercise or swimming and at the beach, etc., you want it to be waterproof. So I'll give you one product recommendation, one of the ones that uh, we've been using as a family and, and I recommend it to all my patients, both after surgery and, and just as part of them is, is the LTMD product. And I have it here uh, with me and you can see 
that uh, its designation is, is broad spectrum, it has a SPF of 41, it has a water resistant um, quality to it for up to 40 minutes. So that tells you how long you would have to be in the water before you need to reapply. It also has a transparent zinc oxide, which is really nice because you won't know it's, it's uh, in, in front of you. And it also designates very clearly that it's UVA and UVB protection and that it's chemical free active ingredients, which I think, you know, for a lot of people who worry about the absorption of a variety of different types of chemicals through their skin as a result of sunscreen application, this, uh, that, you know, really helps, um, helps us understand that we don't have to worry about it with certain type of products. The other component of it is uh, zinc, titanium, uh, zinc, and, zinc and titanium oxide. The zinc oxide in this is 9% and the titanium oxide is 7%. So it meets all the basic criteria that we look for and the product has a very, um, very uh, nice uh, um, slip to it. It's, it rubs into the skin and before you know it, you, it almost looks like a, a foundation or a, a base and it, once you, you rub it into your skin, you really don't even know it's on there. And so this is something that I think <clears throat> would be important to have in your, uh, in your sunscreen regimen so that you can use this regularly and not be uh, turned off by some of the changes. And you can see I barely rubbed it in and it's probably you know, mostly, uh, mostly into the skin. So that's, uh, that's the you know, sunscreen 101 uh, lecture. I think if you apply some of these uh, concepts, you will not go wrong and you will be able to protect your skin and hopefully uh, age more slowly and prevent yourself from those uh, unfortunate uh, skin cancers that are uh, on the rise demographically. All right, thank you so much for your, uh, your attention. If you have any questions, um, please, uh, please comment below. We'll make sure we, we help address them. Also, as we said before, if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel, like and share so we can get it in front of more and more people. All right, thanks so much, Dr. Amir Karam.